Let's go quickly. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Quick's Play. Now we are back at our regularly scheduled universe where things have gone slightly better for Jill. Mostly. Uh, but ultimately similar. Okay, so here's the deal. I've been trying to figure out the best path. There's three things I need to pick up right now. Um, I need to get that power cable. I need to get mixed oil. Uh, and I need to get uh, a fuse. One of these items is in the gas station. One of these items is in the substation. Uh, well, actually, half of an item is in the substation. One is in the parking lot. And then another one is in back in Uptown at the sales office. This was all blocked off by fire, but right now I have everything that I need to be able to get through this area. I also need to go all the way back here and pick up some stuff in an extra file. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I have the item to go switch out over there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two items with me. I need the wrench and the crank. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Uh, there are more zombies here now. That is not great, but it is not terrible. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. I'm going to go to the gas station first. Guy. Probably just this one for right now. Wait, is he dead? Okay, cool. I don't need to kill him at this moment. I just need him to be out of the way. Okay. I'm going to hold my breath every time I go into that section because Nemesis could be there. Oh man. Cool. And I gotta kill those guys because they're gonna keep. I'm gonna come down this area like five times, so I need this hallway clear. Stagla gas station. This place is trashed. Shutters down. I'm gonna use this rusted crank to open it. Nah, beans, it's rusted, it broke. No matter, I've got this hex shaped wrench that I can use. Thankfully, they don't make you sit and watch that whole thing. I'm just kind of do it. Alright, cool. Got those. Oh man. Okay, usually on the table right there, there's like... Oh. Jill! There's gunpowders. Hey! The zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? What's going on in here? It is soaked with machine oil. Okay, nothing of interest in here. Jill! What's wrong? They're coming. They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Uh oh. Hey, calm down. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Any objections to my playing hero this time? Many. What are you what? doing? Carlos! Uh, I'll grab this first aid spray. 
Now I'll go back out and check on Carlos. Eat this! Ah! Ah! Relax. Showed I'm him. not oh. dead yet. Oh. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Okay. I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Carlos, you silly goose. He just, like, shot a bunch of zombies, got punched or bit a couple of times. You know, hero stuff. Storage to maintain the temperature level of the oil. Will you operate the electronic lock? Okay, this puzzle, you're trying, you see the A, B, C, D, the D is lit up. You're trying to... do that. You're just trying to get it to where the uh, the only one that's lit up is the uh, the one that's lit up. Uh, the, the red light has to be over the one that's lit up. You see. That used to be much tougher when I was a kid. Like, for whatever reason, that one's really difficult for my brain. But it's gotten easier. Huzzah! Alright, I got the machine oil. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm really bummed. Usually on that table, there's like three, uh, either B or A gunpowders. I think if you hang around here for too long, you can die. But I've never experimented with it because I'm too scared. Let's also just enjoy this fine cinematic. Whew. Well, got what we needed and blew the place up. Standard operating procedures for, uh, for stars. Just listening to see if there are any bad guy noises. Nope. Let me go... I think I have to have at least one usable item, but let me go check. Because uh, I think I can trigger this scene with Mikhail. Yes, I will. Yay! You saw me take that in the other game, but remember, that was a different save. Uh, because of the weird recording issue that I had, so... Some good stuff. Yes. Mikhail. He backed up a little quick, but they were a lot closer. Hey, <laughs> just blow him up real good. Mikhail, do you have some kind of death wish? My people, they were wiped out by these monsters. I can't stop just because I'm wounded. But can't you see those monsters are also the victims of Umbrella? Are you accusing me of taking it out on them? You don't seem to understand something. 
We're not really involved with the company. There's no reason for any of us to take responsibility for this mess. I know that. And right now, that's the only reason why I'm trying to cooperate with you. Now, let's go get you back inside so you can enjoy your stories. Uh, sorry. I feel so useless. Don't. You fought hard and have the wounds to prove it. But I'm still alive. My men aren't. Don't think about that now. Just rest. Jill, you're sweet. I could not save my men. Poor Mikhail. But yeah, I love that. If you if you end up blowing that um, that barrel before you come back to this cutscene, um, if you get all three items and never come back here, that just doesn't happen from what I've seen. Um, I, I, I think I've actively missed it before. But uh, yeah, if you blow up the barrel before he uh, before this cutscene, he just pulls a grenade and throws it. <laughs> And blows them up, and I, I think the barrel use is a little more, uh, a little more epic. For my man Mikhail. Okay, so I have uh, the first part of the juice. It's the first part of the three. Well, so I have two and a half things left to go. trying to decide on the path I want to take here. Because I think what might be best... Okay. Um, I'm trying to... Th again, sorry. Sorry for I'm just kind of muttering to myself. Um, there's still zombies here? Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, Hey, what's up? Hey, Jill. You shot my friend a second ago. I guess it wasn't my friend. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we're gonna drop the machine oil. We're gonna drop this. I need the reloading tool. Hmm. I should be getting at least... H. No, really? Alright. I also need to be making C rounds. Um, because I need to start... Yeah, 39 is actually not bad. So, yeah, I need to be making some C rounds so I can start making magnum ammo. Um, so I need to start saving some A's. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, let's take the bronze book. We'll grab the battery. Which is, a, which is a little trip. That's not far. I just have to go over here, uh, get the battery, or get the get the compass, come back here, get the battery, and then I can head down to the substation. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. Did I grab? Yeah, I grabbed the wrench. I don't need the wrench right now. I'm gonna need that to get the fire hose. Oh, hey, I was just hanging out here. Okay, now there's a guy coming around the corner. Oh, there's a pair of them. Neat. Why? Why on earth would you point into the wall? Uh, 
I might just pop up this way. Oh! Oh, sweet. Oh, gross. Nothing special. <laughs> you threw up on me. Nah, this place is still all blowed up. But yeah, when I, when I did the playthrough that you guys didn't get to see, I came back here, um, running away from Nemesis. He came into the restaurant, and I went into the into the basement area. And when I came back up, he was gone. Uh, I, I managed to lose him. Okay, so here's the trick. Here, if I take this, um, place your wisdom here. If you take the compass without putting the book in, uh, this water starts pouring from this vase. The future is in our hands. And it's electrified because it's touching that like broken light down there, so you'll start taking damage and you'll be trapped. That's the whole reason that you need this book right here. Um. Yeah. You'll have to excuse my occasional uh, dropping into the map. As you may have seen from other playthroughs of Resident Evil games. Oh, that's unsettling. Okay, I hear them walking and, like, the squishing, and I heard the uh, but I had no idea where they were. Oh my god! Bort. These guys are out. Get up. Irritating, do minor damage, not worth a bullet. Every time I run through here, they're gonna just be there, but they won't... Uh, that's like the first and only time they'll attack me, really. Oh, I've got those two sitting right there. Okay, cool. Uh... Future's in your hands. Ah, sweet. The future is a battery. I love Resident Evil games, gang. I really do. I love Resident Evil games. These are the most convoluted, ridiculous puzzles. <laughs> Why would there just be a battery in the back? Why do I need to switch out... A book with a compass to get the spare battery so I can go to the substation. Why any of that? <laughs> it's so silly. Okay, yeah, he just must have gone down over the door where I went through, so we'll pretend like I just led him away. <sighs> Hilarious. Oh, oh no. Oh, I forgot about these guys. I thought this area was clear. I might just try to run past him. Oh gosh, oh. Nope, off of me. Uh, oh, I hate it. I will just, I'm just gonna run away from them, because I've got, there's a couple down here I need to deal with for sure. Oh, handgun bullets, cool. Oh, dang it. I might have wasted that. That's okay. Uh, there's an explosive charge on the wall there. I definitely wasted that. Oh, 
Why throw up on me? Running a little shy on handgun ammo. Okay, well, it blew up one. That's cool. Is this one? This door's locked. From the other side. Okay. No big a deal. Oh, right. Okay. High voltage control room. The lock will be released at 115 volts to 125 volts. Low voltage control room. The lock will be released at 15 volts to 25 volts. Oh, Nelly. Yes, I will take the gunpowder bees. Yes, indeed, he do. An old emergency exit. The rusty knob won't turn. When operating the transformer, be sure to set this power transmitter to manual mode. The old system is prone to short-circuiting. Be careful not to let it exceed maximum levels. Will you set this device to manual mode? Okay. There's a transformer that supplies power to the facility. Push the switch. Okay. This one, I'm going to try not to ex bother explaining it, because I don't quite understand it, and I just managed to kind of figure it out as I go. But there's a way to really screw this up. Uh, red. Red. Blue. Too high. I want to get the high voltage one first. Blue, blue. Red. Red. No. Um. Red. Blue. Blue. Red. Nope. Blue. Blue. Red. Did I do that one already? I think I did. Red, red, blue! That door opens. Now, it's very important blue, blue, to do both of these first and open both doors. So it's. F I think if I do blue, 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 blue is too little. Times four, okay. Um. Uh, sorry for just kind of forcing this, but. Blue. blue. I think if I just sit and think about it for more than a second, so it's down by five. Okay. Wait. Blue. Red. Blue. No, I did that already. Um. Blue. 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 <laughs> Red. Blue. 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 Okay. Run your 
to go over here, grab this one. So, here's my grenade launcher. There's nothing more. Oh, did you hear that noise? Oh, no. to the emergency exit or increase the electricity output. Let's do that one, shall we? Yuck. Now, that's the one I like to do. But if you don't open both doors, um, it prevents you from using the machine again. So you can't get in. Oh, that's right. No. Okay, never mind. You can. It just messes up the thing. Okay. Never mind. I'm a liar. Foolish fool liar. Meters seem to be out of order. Yeah, okay. It just changes the way. Um, it just changes the way the values go in. But I didn't know what those were anyway. <clears throat> but now there's a bunch of dead bodies. I don't know if I mentioned before, too, if you do nothing in those quick time events, like, there is a third consequence. And if you head for the exit, uh, this is a guaranteed nemesis encounter. Um, so it's always better to just pop those zombie heads as they are. I'm gonna go ahead and spend a couple of shells to kill these guys. Actually, I guess it's not necessary. Because I will never be coming back this way. Okay, that's it. Nope. Something to be said for vengeance, of course, but... Insane agony and pain. Okay. Uh, but, I've got the views, and we're going to head down south to the parking lot. I guess I will be coming back this way once more, but that's fine. It's all good. Out of my way. Hear that? Out of my way. For me, bullets. I'll take grenade rounds. I might, I might just run here. I'm gonna conserve a little bit of ammunition because I have been throwing it at a lot, and I'm kind of running slow. Kinda running low, 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 low. Okay, cool. Where's the fuel? Let's put this right next to the fuel. So I tell you what, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll do some mixing off camera, uh, save the game, and. Uh, 
you'll join me next time. I'm going to go up a uh, little less exciting. I'll go into the parking lot. There's a uh, that cable that I pointed out earlier. And then we're heading to Uptown. Uh, we're going to head down to the sales office. We're going to go back to our original spot up here to visit uh, Mario and, and pick up the stuff that he left behind. And then... Yeah, and then we'll be good. We'll be good to go. But we're at time for today, so please come back quickly and join me as we head into the dangerous city of Uptown Raccoon City. The dangerous city. How many more times can I say that? Anyway, whatever. Come back quick.